Have you ever been watching an exciting relay race where the winning team is way ahead only to drop the baton on the final lap and lose the race? That's exactly what can happen when you're creating a digital experience because it doesn't matter how fast you sprint if you fail to smoothly hand off your designs to developers. Luckily, there's something that can help. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's a design system. Welcome to episode three of Creating Premium, a three-part video series about product innovation. I'm your host, Courtney Starr, director of our Durham office at Prolific Interactive. In today's episode, we'll help you get your team speaking the same design language so you can bring your ideas to market faster. First, what do I mean when I say design language? Well, we're all familiar with that document that tells you not to squish your company's logo or use papyrus, right? He just highlighted avatar, he clicked the drop down menu, and then he just randomly selected papyrus. Those are brand guidelines. A design language is similar but it defines how your brand is expressed through digital channels. Apple's human interface guidelines and Google's material design are robust examples of this concept. A design system is the engine that enables you to deploy your design language when developing products and services across platforms. Let's talk about three approaches to creating a design system that is right for your organization. Think about your company like a road system and your design needs like the traffic. Are you a team of five? 500, or 5,000. If you're a small team, you should probably just sit next to your engineers and teach them how to use your design tools. Maybe you're a growing organization with growing design debt. Consider making a simple PDF that links to all digital properties, style guides, components, and resources like prototypes and source files. I'll include a link in the description to download a keynote template. This will make your designs accessible to a wider audience and provide necessary context with minimal effort. If you're a large organization, I encourage you to put your design system online. You can use a free tool like Zero Height, a paid tool like Envision's Design System Manager, or you can build your own dashboard that not only communicates your design language, but also includes code snippets for immediate use by development teams. At Prolific, we avoid building from scratch by using a framework called Neon. This helps us iterate and prototype faster, reduce UI debt, and speed up QA. Thanks for joining me for the Creating Premium series. I hope you've learned how to generate valuable opportunities based on user needs, bring your ideas to life using the appropriate design and prototyping methods, and create scalable design solutions across platforms. Our mission is to solve meaningful problems to create measurable value for users. If you share those values, consider booking some time with me to discuss how we could create a premium experience for your company. Use the Calendly link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.